This is an international heavyweight contest made over a time of 30 minutes. Six rounds of five minutes each with the best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or a knockout to decide. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left in the blue corner, the strongman from Cardiff in Wales, Johnny Yearsley. On my right, his opponent, the internationally famed American star, Billy Two River. And your referee, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tony Mansell. John Harris, our MC, announcing Billy Two Rivers as an American star. I wouldn't please him if you heard that. An old North American, maybe, because he is from Canabaga, Quebec, Canada. And there he is, the genuine full blooded Mohawk Indian from Quebec, 17 and a half stone of him, taking on Johnny Yearsley of Cardiff at a mere 15 stone two. Two falls to decide this six round contest. third time that we've seen Billy Two Rivers since he's been back in this country on this particular trip but of course before that it was 1965 when he left these shores and we thought we're never going to see him again and so many people have written in asking when we're going to see him well I'm sure they must be happy now uh, even at one time there was a strong rumor going around that he'd been killed in a car crash actually of course he, he did have a car crash but not as drastic as that car accident in 68 in, in Montreal in fact it was pretty rough because he was out of wrestling for a couple of years following it but he's still with us I'm very glad to say Billy Two Rivers from Quebec 17 and a half stone two and a half stone weight advantage nearly over Johnny Yearsley of Cardiff with the multicolored trunks and of course the mohawk hairstyle <laughs> still pretty agile a lot of weight on of course since he was here in 65 but uh, still move around quite a bit I'm locked now spread to Rivers but is in the single interlock and of course Johnny Yearsley forced to release that immediately is on. And I don't think the cross turns now. Yearsley is a fair reach and tremendous strength but I don't know if he really can go for this one too easily. <laughs> no, no, no. The first sign of the famous tomahawk shot there it could come any moment. 
if he usually gets that close and leaves his right hand, hand free to do it. Tony Mansully, the referee, the former Southern Area, Southern Area heavyweight champion, retired undefeated, and he's perfectly capable of stepping in even with these heavy boys and breaking them up if necessary. We've often seen him do it. Johnny Yearsley in the ring, of course, anything like that could happen because he doesn't uh, stick to the rules all that much, as that will show you. He's in trouble and just dives for the ropes to get the break. Ten seconds. The head scissors by Two River is too late to have much effect in this round. <laughs> Billy Two Rivers, there he is from uh, Canavaga, Reservation Quebec. Still wears national dress in public over there, but not over here. He's used to be, of course, a top-line uh, lacrosse player for his uh, reservation. In fact, it was, he was quite far up the division the last time I spoke to him. But now he's given that up, the professional lacrosse. And especially since his car accident, he's um, gone, in, gone in for wrestling all over the world, but rather in a slower style than usual. Seconds away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go, no score in this main box of the International Heavyweight Contest here at the Woodville Hall Gravesend. Billy Two Rivers, Quebec, Canada, in the flower trunks versus Johnny Usley of Cardiff. And that was which I right think. And it's a public warning by Tony Mansoli for that. And he usually started already. He is not one duly worried about one public warning. He knows he's got another one before he need worry too much. And there's the order. There we go. Short and sweet, but he means he's had enough of that uh, bending the rules bit, to, especially on the eyes. The hand getting ready for the chop. And there it is. Not the tomahawk chop, the backhander to the throat, but a chop just the same. And there's the backhander being shaped up for the backhander there. If he lands that, <laughs> Johnny Yearsley will not know much more, probably, if it lands right. You want a handshake? There it is. It's Side headlock. Chancery. Nice throw from it. Holding onto the hold this time. Going for the arm levers. Uh, legs and over the top for a shoulder press. Could be the first one. No. Shoulder blades not touching. Shoulder blades nowhere near now. He's got a chance to complete this 10 4 now. Still in the double arm. Oh. He is he thinking of a posting now? Yes, a good one. Balance right. And look at the sweat pouring off two rivers now. But this time he's ready for it. A couple of minutes left in the second. And the chop hand ready. 
Even the clenched fist ready then. And using the hair usually. A successful counter by Two Rivers, usually causes the break. And there's one gentleman at ringside that doesn't like it at all every time he does that. Big cold. Too much action on the ropes. It's one thing this referee, Tony Mansell, does not approve of at all. Half a minute. Retaliation there. The ref didn't even spot it. <laughs> Johnny Yearsley doesn't like that at all. That <laughs> to his left eye. But that's the, exactly the stuff he was dishing out to Two Rivers in round one. So it's only uh, right that he, his opponent should get away with a couple. And I don't believe the referee even spotted this. If he had, he would have let it go. Johnny Yearsley, Cardiff. The weightlifting expert who has held in his time five British weightlifting records. So that's where he came from, and that's why the power is still showing. Round three. Round three, four to go, and no score. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. Billy Two Rivers versus Johnny Yearsley, and it's Two Rivers. Unusual position for him on the deck. And you heard the voice of MC John Harris there <laughs> announcing the second public warning to Johnny Yearsley. So that is his last one. Yes, using the opponent's impetus off the ropes for the knee, perfect illegal. And again, that knee actually dead right, absolutely dead right. Rivers really slowed up here. Johnny Yearsley should go in for the kill. An easy kill here if he makes it. Yes, quite easy. Reverse double knee hold. Yeah. Rivers had nothing left. Two Rivers had nothing left at all to counter that one way. So the first one to Yearsley in round three. John Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, the first fall of the match is in favour of the Welshman, Johnny Yearsley. Well, it's, uh, uh, how many times have we seen Billy Two Rivers actually getting to his corner on the kneeling position? <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, he'll have to go in a few seconds because the start of round four is coming up. Uh, and a foot front, ooh. Face right over the top to the iron. Ring post, very nearly anyway, but we didn't quite touch it. And 
Yearsley all his own way at the moment. Johnny Yearsley leading by one for the nil over two rivers, trying to go in to make it a 2 0 win for himself. Oh, yes, the chop on the inside. Beautiful timing by Rivers. Beautiful. And going in for the second, but Yearsley was down before it arrived. And another one. Double handed chop in. Here we go. Yearsley's in trouble now. The equalizer should be coming up. If not a knockout. And the backhand. There's the tomahawk. And I don't think we'll see Yearsley again today. That landed well. Eight, nine, no chance. So two rivers, quite simply, coming back with that beautiful couple of chops and leading to a tomahawk chop, his favorite speciality move. And with that, tomahawk gets the KO in the full. John Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, with Yearsley failing to beat the count, the winner on a fourth round knockout, Billy Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for the loser, Johnny Yearsley.